Hello and welcome back to our Shooter Bot AI series. This is an extra bonus episode to go through and show you how to make bots of different teams fight each other. So, for this we're going to use the gameplay tag system. This is just one way of doing this. Again, there's many ways of doing many things in here. So, we're going to use the gameplay tag. Uh, what gameplay tags are, they are a list of tags that you can associate to different actors. Whatever actors you know, they may be. To set them up, you want to head to Project Settings, and in there you'll find Gameplay Tags up here on the top left. And it may look quite confusing, and it is quite confusing, there are quite a lot of options to it, but we're going to just go focus on the bits that we need for this. Um, and for that we're going to go to Gameplay Tag List down here, and you'll see Add New Gameplay Tag. And when you expand this open, it asks for a name, and I'm going to put in a name of Team and add new tag. Now this will add a team tag and now with the gameplay tags you can actually use hierarchy here. So I've got a team here and I can click on the little plus icon next to it and I'll add a sub team up here. So I've got team dot and I'll choose red team for example and you will now see I've got red team as part of our, our child of our team tag. I'm going to add another child here and this one's going to be a blue team. And just make sure and double check that you've got both teams appearing in this list. When you're done here, we're going to close this and then we're going to go into our bot pawn. In our pawn here, we're going to have a new variable and that is going to be the um, actor tag, tag container. And on the right hand side, you're going to change the variable type here to gameplay tag container and the container will contain the numerous tags um, so you can add more tags to them later for doing different things um, we only can focus on teams for this one but that's where you would store your tags and on here we're going to have another variable and this would be team tag and we'll change the variable type for this to a simple gameplay tag not the container just one on its own gameplay tag when you've chosen that, make sure you tick Instance Editable as well. And if you want, you can do Expose and Spawn. If you wish to spawn enemy uh, uh, bots in during the game, you can do that. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as Instance. Hit Compile, and then Save. So what we need to do now is add this team tag to our container. And we're going to do that on the construction script here. So I'm going to drag out my team tag. Get, and do Add Tag, and you'll see Add Gameplay Tag come up. It will ask for a tag container, which we've got down here. So let's drag that out and plug that into our tag container. So we are done here. Uh, we can close our bot and let's go to our game here. And because we made it editable, we can choose what team each bot is on. So I'm going to select this one, go to team tag. I can choose which team I want to put it on. Choose red team. And for this one, I'm going to choose blue team. So now I want them to attack each other. So I'm going to go to the bot AI controller. On here, we're going to do something uh, set up first of all, and that is getting the, the actual bot pawn that this controller is controlling. So I'm going to go up to my begin play, get controlled pawn, and I'm going to cast that to our bot here. And then as the bot, drag this out and promote to verbal. Now we've got a reference to the bot pawn with all of its tags that we need. Then on our perception update here, we're going to get rid of the player character check here. Because now it's going to be affecting others as well as the player. And on here, we're going to get the actor and we're going to cast to bot. And we'll plug that in there. Like so. And as bot, we can drag this out and get the team tag. And we want to compare that to our bot tag. So drag it as bot out, get, and we want to see their team tag as well. And we want these to not be equal to each other in order for us to do their thing. 
So we're going to drag this out and do not equal to. Then not equal to there. Plug that into our branch here. And we are good to go. The bots will now fight each other. They won't attack the player yet, but they'll attack each other. Let's take a look at that in action. Okay, and there they go. As you can see, he's ignoring me. And off he goes. And he will continue to ignore me because we have taken out the player check. Because this cast is failing when they see the player, it's not going to work. So on cast failed here, that's when we want them to check if they're the player or not. So we're going to right click get player character. And we're going to see if the um, actor here is equal to the player character. So exactly what we had before. And this will go into the branch here. Then we're going to make a new branch. Put this in. And the true of this will go up to our get sense class here. Now this get sense class, um, we need to get the stimulus from it. Now at the moment the stimulus and sense actor are on the wrong side of the cast. So we're going to move that to the other side here. And disconnect it from there. And move the cast to the other side. Because we want both branches to have access to these. So they need to be firing off here as well. In fact, I can just plug that straight into Sense Actor there. Okay. And because we're cutting through here, I can cut this line out and just drag in the Sensed Actor into this point as well. And plug that in to the branch there. Need to plug in a stimulus, my variables. There we have it. So the branch here now connect to the cast failed and hit compile and save. So now when the bot senses another bot, they'll do the check for the team tag. And if it's the player, it'll go down and check if it's equal to the player. Now, if you've got multiple players and different teams, you want it to affect the teams as well of the players. Then what you'd have is you'd have a parent class of both bots and characters and they will that parent class will have the team tag and simply you don't have to do the cast failed and you just cast to the overall character class and then you can check the team tag of that character class on its own but this will do us fine for now Good play and we can see the bots fight each other and fight me So sometimes you may get the issue where the reference is pending a kill. Uh, so that's because in between, the split second between it sensing it and it doing something with it, it may die. So what you want to do here is just make sure that this bot reference, these bot references are still valid. So I'm just going to move these along. So do is valid. And check if this is valid as well by right clicking convert to validate get. And that will determine whether or not it's pending a kill or not. So now we can play that again. There we have it. And then we have Team AI Combat in our Bot AI. Thank you very much for the suggestions for future content for this. If you have any more, please leave a comment below in the comment box. I very much appreciate to hear what you guys want to learn about. Thanks again for watching. And if you want to watch more of my content before anyone else, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can watch all of my content, all from just one dollar a month before anyone else. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.